worthy enough, I'm talented enough, and I'm all that I need to be. I am destined to be a lead actor. I'm worthy enough. Hey, 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 Annie. Yo, yo, yo. La, 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 la. It's your favorite musical goddess and actor extraordinaire, Diva Z, here to bring you, 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 a lot of fun, fun movie review. Today, we're going to be reviewing a film originally titled Tell Your Children, made in 1936 by a, what, what, what? A church group. Attention, everyone, attention. Today, we are going to learn about some nasty little demon that's sure to ruin the rest of your lives. Everybody, so pay attention. These high school boys and girls are having a hop at the local soda fountain. Innocently, they dance. Innocent of a new and deadly menace lurking behind closed doors. Marijuana, the burning weed with its roots in hell. Created in the late 1930s, it was mainly just shown to parents to teach them about the dangers of marijuana use and the ease of how your children can so easily sneak this vile element right under your noses. Gentlemen, the enemy is everywhere, and it is up to us to stop him from harming our innocent footwear. In this film, you will see the ease with which this vicious plant can be grown in your neighbor's yard, rolled into harmless-looking cigarettes, hidden in an innocent shoe or watch case. This film claimed that the temptation lurked everywhere, and tons of evil dumpsters were just poised to jump, hell-bent on ruining your precious children the moment they're left alone. Every breath you take, every move you make, I'll be watching you. In this startling film, you will see dumpsters lure children to destruction. And that may well have been the end of it. Except, soon after the film was shot, a film producer bought it. Mine, 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 oh, mine. <laughs> At first, you may wonder, why? I mean, there's not much money in scaring church-going parents, right? But that wasn't even the biggest obstacle. See, during the late 30s, the censorship in the nation was on super high alert, super massive power trips, cutting down anything that was even slightly risque under the guise of the Comstock Laws. Well, I say, dear chap, that somebody somewhere might be having a little bit of fun. Let's make a law to stop that, shall we? <laughs> These Congress-mandated laws censored any type of media that had even a smidgen of what could be even remotely seen as obscene. Oh, 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 is that an ankle I see? Oh! I dare say. <gasps> now, we both know there is big money to be made in debauchery because there's always an audience for salacious things and movies we shouldn't see. More, 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 more. <laughs> right, Hellhound? <laughs> Smoking the soul destroying reefer, they find a moment's pleasure, but at a terrible price. Debauchery, violence. Murder. Suicide. So what do you do with a video that's totally centered around drug use, debauchery, violence, sex, murder? How do you get around these censorship laws? That's easy. You simply tell the censors. Dear sirs, I am in total agreement with you. I I simply offer this film as a bit of a morality thing, a, a compass, if you will, for all that is good and pure. 
And so the film was released. And that might have been the end of the story. And the ultimate end of the marijuana addict. Plank Hopeless insanity. But it was not the end. Nope. The film was rediscovered in the 1970s. And laughing at the blatant and unapologetic fabrication of facts, the film became an unintentional satire and a cult classic. Dude, dude, get, get those Doritos and get over here. <laughs> you gotta see this. <laughs> what? probably the most famous propaganda movie of all time. We know it, and we laugh at this master of misstatement, now known as Reefer Madness. Well, that's it for this week's review. Make sure to show your applause by hitting then that like and subscribe button, and then when I'm rocketed into stardom, you can say you knew me when. Until then, act on. Thank you so very much. Thank you. I love you all. I was gonna clean my room. I was gonna let it do if I my room is still messed up, and I know why. Da 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 Da-da-da-da-da-da-da!